name is Vince McCauley. I'm the Chief Executive and Head Coach of the London Lions at the Copper Box Arena. Vince, thank you so much for coming down to Worthing. My and pleasure. And Worthing H um, BWTM HQ. Hey, anytime you invite me to the seaside, I'm there. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, let's get straight into biz down to business. Obviously, London Lions are playing Worthing tonight in the friendly. Yep. Um, have you made any additions to London Lions this season? Any additions? Yes. Yeah, we've made some additions. Uh, we've uh, certainly that we'll be playing tonight. We've got the Darius Tab, mm -hmm. really athletic forward. He'll be playing tonight for the first time. Um, and Jordan Spencer, mm -hmm. you know, sensational point guard, uh, English player, national champion in America. Um, he'll be another guy that we feel would be successful for us this year. Who will also make his uh, his play in this year. So, the, in terms of Worthing Thunder, have you seen who they've been brought, they've brought in? Did you say Worthing Lions? Worthing oh, Thunder. sorry, Worthing Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Worthing Thunder. Yes, yes. Worthing Thunder. <laughs> Lots of great additions. Yes. Um, I think I'm really supportive of what Zaya Taylor is trying to do. Yes. Alex Awumi is a sensational signing. Ishmael Fontaine, Nick Lewis, Kevin Moyo. Mm -hmm. And of course, back in the day, Milton Keynes, we had Brendan Okoronkwo with us. Yes. Um, you know, if you want to do things the right way, you've got to get the right people involved. And I think that's what Zaya has done here. He's very, very clear in what, how he wants to play. Mm -hmm. He understands the game very, very well. He's a multiple champion MVP. Um, that's always a good sign. So I'm very, very much aware of what they're doing down here and, and very supportive of it, which is why we brought the team down here to help. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I'm going to watch their season with interest. Bringing all those players in, does that, does that equal a championship? Uh, nothing equals a championship because nothing's for free. Okay. Right? Nothing equals a championship because nothing is for free. If they all roll up and maybe don't do the work they're supposed to do, they won't win anything. Right. But if they roll up, prepare proper, properly, prepare on the basketball court, get in the weight room, do some video, talk about how they want to play, talk about the opposition, because I know the coaches around the other the league are doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, the Solon guys that Solon down there, they watch tape till the cows come home. They're prepared. Best time to beat them, first time you play them. Second time you play them, you're going to fight, because they'll know exactly what you're trying to do and they'll be prepared. I know Zaya wants to do that. He's got people around him with a lot of experience. If he does that, I think they're very much in the driving seat. Okay, what's the aim today for you, um, bringing down the Lions? Is it to, to show off what your players can do and really go at the Worthing Thunder and give everything? Or is it a case of just, it's a friendly, we're just going to treat it as that? No, there's no such thing as a friendly. Of course, it's a friendly game and it's pre-season, by all means, you know. But So we don't see anything but ourselves, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, we've got three weeks to prepare for a fantastic season. Mm -hmm. um, um, so, you know, we've been working hard in practice twice a day, every day. We haven't, we haven't had a day off yet. Right. Um, so the guys are tired, but that's just letting them know what this is about. Mm -hmm. We've played very low level opposition uh, last weekend. Mm -hmm. This is a step up in opposition for us in terms of the Worthing Thunder. Mm -hmm. We're going to play again tomorrow against the Sorry Scorchers on the BBL. So it's a step up each day. Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to get the guys to understand is each day we have to get better. So we're going to be out there trying to execute our stuff, trying to win the game. We're trying to get better in what we do ahead of the season. What sort of challenge do you think Worthing Thunder brings to London Lions with all the new additional players? Well, the biggest challenge they're going to bring is they're going to have a bunch of guys on the floor who want to win. Mm -hmm. We know that, mm -hmm. right? And then uh, second to that, they're going to have a lot of players maybe smaller than we're expecting to face in the season. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know who the biggest player is right now, but in terms of active minutes on the floor, I don't think their biggest player is going to be bigger than six foot four. Mm -hmm. You know, our biggest player is six foot eleven. Um, so we're going to have to mix and match. We're going to have to watch out for some things. We're going to have to look at where the mismatches are. They're going to try and exploit with their speed. They're going to try and exploit with our size. Um, so it's a good test for us because you never know what might happen during the season. You may lose a player through injury, you may face opposition who've lost their big guy through injury. So it's, it's all about getting all those experiences in the bag ahead of the first game of the season. Friendlies, do they, people say, well, friendlies, not saying it's friendly, but it's competitive. Does the friendly give you any indication as to what's going to happen in the future in the season? Or do we just say, it's just a friendly, you know, we're just getting things together, don't look into it too much? Sure. So you're really referring to the result, even though you didn't say that. <laughs> 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 I think the, the one thing we take away from a pre-season friendly is how are the guys looking? Mm -hmm. Are we working well together? Mm -hmm. Are we executing? Are we coping with situations? Are things going to plan? Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for. Of course, you want to win. You mm -hmm. want to take the result. Um, but you won't always be able to take the result, you know, no matter what team you are. The preseason is about getting ready for the points that matter. If Worthing Thunder were to beat London Lions yeah. today, yeah. what do you take away from that, if they were to do that? If they were to do that, I would take away the fact that maybe we haven't executed a few things that we should have done. Mm -hmm. I would look at what we've done, um, and I would, find a, I would find a reason for why that result may have occurred. Mm -hmm. um, it wouldn't change my outset, 
right, plan and where we're going, mm -hmm. you'll just maybe maybe have a look at that execution and see, okay, maybe this guy is in a position to do what I'm expecting him to do. Maybe that guy is in a position to, to do what I'm expecting him to do. And so I start to look at those reasons. The result itself wouldn't concern me. It'd be the way we play. And on the flip side, mm -hmm. the London Lions run through Worthing Lock Thunder. Mm -hmm. What do you take away from a victory like that in terms of the players? How do you keep them stay balanced and not get too big headed or, yeah. you know, overconfident yeah. going into the season? Well, I would like to think they wouldn't be if that were to be the result. I think um, certainly I wouldn't be. Uh, the best player in the league, Justin Robinson, wouldn't be. We're focused on winning mm -hmm. the championship of the BBL. Mm -hmm. That's what we're focused on. And whatever it takes to get to that result, if we need to lose to win the championship in the BBL, then that's what we're going to do. Very, very quickly, just to end. Um, other teams that Worthing Thunder need to be aware of this season? Yeah, interesting. I think there's a couple of teams they need to be aware of. Mm -hmm. um, I think the biggest thing is they, got to, they can't be complacent, mm -hmm. especially on the road. Mm -hmm. I think Solon's going to be a challenge. Uh, I think Hemel's going to be a challenge. Mm -hmm. And then there's a couple of teams who have a regular, even performance. You know, Reading are always going to be there. You know, Barking, they're young, but they're always nibbling at your heels. Mm -hmm. Those kind of, they're always going to be there. But I think the guys with the talent, Hemel, Solent, I think, I think they're going to be big challenges. And as long as they can take care of those guys home and away, they'll be well on their way. And finally, where do people find you? Twitter, Vince McCauley, London Lions. That's it. Ingram Jones with Vince. We're out. Take care.